Down. Ethan Small has been around the program for a while now. Junior from Lexington, Tennessee. He was the Saturday starter last year, and we are underway here in college baseball season. More pitches than they need to be. Efficiency is the key this year. And the swing and a miss. And that's the way the, this season starts. Boy, came after him on the 0-2 pitch and throws the fastball by Cameron Murray and back-to-back -back strikeouts. And a swing and a miss. And what a start for Ethan Small. On the mound for Youngstown State. 6-3 sophomore from Circleville, Ohio. Hearted ball. Knocked down by Dennis. And no play. And the 3 1 in the air into center field. Should be an easy play for Nassani. He's right there, and that'll do it for the Bulldogs in the first. So 3 2. And strike three at the knees. Oh, he's seen small. Here's the 0 2. Swing and a miss. And five consecutive strikeouts for Ethan Small. Into right field, McNamee going back, has a beat on it, and that'll do it for the second inning. So the first ball put in play today by Youngstown State. Gets the fly off the right field. Oklahoma in the opening round of the NCAA tournament. And coming in and sliding and making the play is Lucas Nassani. Nassani got a good jump on it. That's in the batting order so far today. And first pitch swinging, sends it out into center field. Well, Colin Clark has been pitch efficient for Youngstown State in the first two frames. Big themes in college baseball. And lifted down the left field line. That could be trouble. It's going to hit off the wall. And racing into second and sliding in head first. A double, a leadoff double for Webb Charles. Three and two the count with a runner at third. And ball four in the first walk issued today. Strike three caught at the knees. You see that big curve ball from Ethan Small. And he gets the big strike out to end the inning. Into right field. Webb Charles going back and at the warning track. Reaches up, makes the catch, and that's out number one. Nice play by Charles. Here. Pops that one up. Shallow right field. And Charles gets under it, and that'll do it. Got those long and middle relievers the Bulldogs have had to rely on. There's a ball hit into left, so that's lead off. And strike three call. And up in the zone. Played around some rain so far today. There's a fly ball hitting the right center field, and that ball's well struck. At the wall and gone, a two-run home run for Trevor Wiersma on a 1-1 pitch in Youngstown State has the lead. Cage. Jane speeds and Dickerson way out in front. Chased it out of the zone. Skelton blocked it up and that'll do it for the Penguins here in the fourth. Popped him up. Shortstop going out. And it will be Dennis who will make the play. And once again, Colin Clark, Lucas Nasanti at the plate. And swing and a miss. And that will do it for the fifth. So Ethan Small has gone five. He's been touched for two runs on three hits. Which is anything. But... And strike three called at the knees. And now a walk. And the first walk of the day issued by Colin Clark. Chops at first baseman. Bobbled. And everybody saved. Wiersma, who was holding the runner, was playing in. Out on strikes to start the inning. And a fly ball lifted into right field. And Webb Charles is there to make the catch. And that will do it for the Dogs in the bottom of the fifth. And the Bulldogs going to go to the bullpen. Peyton Plumley, the senior from Olive Branch. Will come in and pitch the six so you can close the book on Ethan Small. Hard hit ball past the second baseman and into center field. And the leadoff man aboard. 
And that one is low. And that's ball four. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. And a strikeout of Blaze Lynn. Ground ball right side. That'll get the run home. Halter makes the play. And it's 3 0 Youngstown State in the third. Hot shot right side. Halter has it. And that'll do it for the Penguins in the top of the sixth. But the leadoff single by Cameron Murray comes around to score. Line, fair ball. Down into the left field corner. And Mangum on his way to second base and a leadoff double for Jake Mangum. Excitement into this ballpark. Inside the bag of third. Mangum will score. Westberg on his way to second. And the Bulldogs have two doubles in the inning and are now on the board for the first time this year. In the left field, ranging back, and we're tied at three on a two-run home run by Tanner Allen. Boy, Allen goes the other way. The lefty goes oppo and hits it into the lounge. And the Bulldogs' bats that have been so quiet that third time around have gotten three hits and four guys to the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. Well, sawed him off, and that's going to drop into center field. Well, hard hit ball right at the second baseman. Dickerson makes the play, and that'll do it. And that one gets past Foscu and in the left field. Stayed down on him. You could tell he was thinking that would make him a little, up a little bit higher. Swing and a miss and a big strikeout for Plumlee to get. So Cody Dennis, the inability. 2-2. Two -two. In the shallow center field, second baseman Halter going out, and that will do it for the time of the seventh. Coming back. Fly ball in the right center field. Well hit, long run, and racing under it is Nassani out in center field. Back. He could pitch this weekend if they needed him, but they're trying to slowly get him back tonight. Swing and a miss and a breaking ball down. Lynn strikes out for the fourth time tonight. And Cole Gordon works a one, two, three, eight. Three and one to Rowdy Jordan. And a leadoff walk. And State has the go-ahead run aboard the bottom of the eight. Right here, because you look down at the bullpen, you know that Tanner Allen is going to face a right-handed pitcher. So you're not going to get Hard hit ball through the left side. Rowdy Jordan will head over to third and runners at the corner. With runners at the corners and nobody out. High chop. Pitcher makes the play. Throw to second. Not in time. And State takes a 4-3 lead. The pitcher. Fly ball left center field. That one struck well, and gone. A three-run home run for Elijah McNamee. Well, McNamee got behind in the count, 0-2, oh but he got a pitch to hit. And he just drove it out of the park in the left center field power alley. And that one into center field. Now the Bulldogs. Left side, slow roller, third baseman in, and not in time. It'll be an infield single. Blaze Glenn, the third baseman, came in to make the play. And a four-pitch walk to load the bases. And that one's going to get into left field. Runner going to round third. Jordan comes in to score. And the Bulldogs. And put a six spot on the board in the bottom of the eighth inning and still nobody out. <laughs> well, <laughs> so you bring in the lefty and he has to face the switch hitter, Mango. Half of the right side. In the left field, Rowdy Jordan has his first hit of the night. And that will drive in a pair. And it's 11-3 Mississippi State. And what a bottom of the eighth for Rowdy Jordan. He gets it started with a walk and then drives in two. Westberg already a three-hit night, looking for four, and he's going to get it.
Little sand wedge into center field. That'll drive in a run. Jordan comes around to score. Pan. In the left field. That'll drive home another run. It'll be a 10 run inning as Allen slides into second with a double. Could you imagine SEC baseball becoming what it has now? I mean, no, no amenities whatsoever for the fans. And I remember doing a radio interview with Jim Ellis. Then a chop to the first baseman, knocked down. Will there be a play? No. Runner going to round third and sliding in safely. And Mississippi State has a 14-3 lead. Maybe so in the minor leagues. Now, that, in the major leagues, I'll send them too, but sometimes they never get them because they go to their agents or their secretaries. But most of great college baseball here at Starkville. Is Kobe White going to come into the game? Foxworth, Mississippi. You made a good call, but I don't feel good. I don't need to go to the bus. And the guy says it was about 30 degrees with a 20-mile-an-hour wind. This is the perfect spot. Big swing, and that's a strikeout, one down in the inning. Set out last year with an injury. There's a big swing and another strikeout. Right at the ship in the back half. Strike three caught on the outside corner, and that will do it. And Mississippi State comes from behind to knock off Youngstown State 14-3.